Sis, you say in your Bible, this is Christ? What scripture? Okay, okay. You said you don't know if there's a scripture whether he's white or black, but you said in your Bible. So how is it this man is Jesus? Let's go to Revelation. You see why it's important to teach the proper image? After that, we're going to go to John 7. Let's go to John 7, 38 first. Let me show you the importance of knowing that, sis. Okay? Sis, listen to the Bible. Go ahead. Sis, sis, listen to the Bible. Not some random guy in the street. Okay? The Bible. Come on. John chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me as... So this is Christ speaking. He said, he that believeth on me... As the scripture had said. As the scripture has said. So you got to believe on Christ as the scripture said. Right. Who he is, what he looked like, who he came for, what was his mission, what did the Father send him for. You got to believe on all those things like the scriptures say. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Uh -huh. That's Verse 30. Go to, go to Revelation. So now, if you don't believe on Christ like the scriptures say, out of your belly is going to be what? Full of lies. You're going to be confused about what Jesus looked like. Right. Even though you quoted Revelations 1, but you still believe that this is Jesus. That's right. a problem, sis. Right. And I'm going to show you that. But it doesn't matter really. Now it don't matter. You see that? Now it don't matter. Listen, the scripture just said, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said. That's what the word said. The word just said you gotta believe in him just like the word said. Right. It's it's not, it don't matter. Now we're about to find out what he looked like. It don't matter. Come on, sis. Come on, here we go. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which was given, which was given unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Jump down. Verse 14, his head and his ears were white like wool. So, sis, the hair on his head, sis, 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 pay attention, one on one here. The hair on his head, on the hair on his face were white like wool. If you look at this older gentleman right there, he has white woolly hair. Okay, go ahead. That's a real wild. As white as snow, and his eyes as a flame of fire. So, the whites of his eyes was red. Go ahead. Verse 15, and his feet was like unto fine brass. So it said his feet was like fine brass. Remember we read John 7, 38. He that believeth on me as the scripture has said. What color is brass? A gold color. Gold. How about brown? Brown. Look at your skin. That's what it looks like. That's right. Now let's find out more. As if they burned in a furnace. Now I would say you take that brass and you burn it in a fire. What 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 color is that gonna come out to? Black. So I'm what sorry. color is Jesus black? Is Jesus Christ? I don't know. Oh come on! Huh? Come on, sis. Hey, you see, hey, stay, stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Give me, give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second, sis. Why you? Why is that so difficult to admit that Christ could look more like this than this? It can. It can. It does. What I'm saying is, he could be. It doesn't really matter because why? Why That's why I read John 7, 38. Right, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said. If, if, if you don't believe on him like this, you follow this image. Guess what now? You follow after idolatry. You follow after fornication. You follow after LGBTQ, HDMI. You follow after those crazy things. Because you don't believe on the proper image. Sis. That's, that's, you see that? You see that? That's what this image gets you to do. It gets you to comply with sin. It gets you to be comfortable with sin. You're comfortable. Sis. So you don't see it. No, I don't sin. You can see now. You can show the lie. Okay, okay. Sis, come back, come back, come back, come back. What's your question? God's word. God is what? What you mean? What kind of question is what? God is what? Referring to what? Come on. That's a blank. God is God. What? What? What is your question? Be more specific. 
What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? So you telling me it's a black man up there right now? Yes. Yeah, man, come on, man. Let's go to Daniel. Hey, it ain't my fault you don't you don't read this Bible and you go by what white men tell you about right. God. Right. That ain't my problem. Right. It's, it's up to you to learn who you are and learn your God. Right. Why is it so far-fetched that there's a black man up in the sky? Because you believe in this. You because you think this is yes, yes, yes. Guess what you think that spirit look like? This is what you think that I know what you I know I know guess what us in us in America We don't have our own mind You we don't have our own mind You see that because you don't care about the scripture Let's get Daniel. Let's see what God look like Daniel 9 7 and 9 7 and 9 come on Daniel chapter 7 and listen 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 Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9 I behold till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit who's the ancient of days ancient meaning old who's older than days God okay so he said he's seen God sitting how, how is that possible if he's a spirit so he's got to have a body. Right. Come on, man. Now you, now you playing crazy with me. Go ahead. Who's going? Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? So you it's, it said, whose garment? I'm not trying to tell you nothing. I'm reading the Bible, bro. Come on. Listen, 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 listen. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garments were white as snow. Not only did he sit, he had on a cloth, he had on a garment, and it was white. He sits on his throne. Okay, he sits. In my father's house are many mansions. Ah, come on. And the hair of his head, like. Listen, you listening? You're not listening. It's describing the most high God right. that you say who's a spirit. He's a spirit. Okay. But that what does that mean? Spirit and truth, man. His spirit. Are you just repeating the same shit? Do you not understand? You don't understand what that means? You don't understand what it means. I'm gonna give you the understanding. Okay, go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Uh-huh. His throne were like the fi fiery flame. The hair on what? The hair on his head. When was the last time you seen a spirit and you seen a spirit's hair? Okay then. All right. Now let's get some understanding. So now God is a black man that sits on a throne with a white garment. I know you can't answer me that. You can't answer that. All right. We're going to explain. We're going to explain the spirit and the truth. All right. Go to John 17 verse 17. worship him in spirit and in truth all right let's see john chapter 17 and verse 17 yeah. sanctify them through thy truth uh -huh. thy word is truth so now it says thy word is truth so if we have to worship god in spirit and in truth we, we got to do what sanctify them through thy truth Thy word is truth. You see how the Bible defines itself? The Bible defines the words that it uses? I see how you're right. picking out what you want to pick out. How I'm picking out what I'm picking out? It says the word is the truth. I ask you, what spirit and what's truth? You, t you told me the spirit and truth is spirit and truth. I just went to the Bible and the Bible told you truth is the word. Come on, man. We Come on. You you jumping from conversation to conversation. Let's get the spirit. John says. 
Yeah, John what Six, you John you Six. What do you think, about bro? That? You gotta put the bottle down, man. You drinking too much. You can't even comprehend the conversation we're having. Right. Right. I'm just asking no, I'm not insulting your intelligence. I'm telling I you, you you're not, you're not letting the conversation with me Are and you, you that we're having. Yes, you're slurring. Okay, I am. Yes, you, right. you are. So, so, but that's my, that's okay. my job as your brother to tell you that. That's my job as your brother to tell you that. I'm explaining your question. I'm, I'm, yet, I'm letting you know the words that you're using, spirit and truth, they have definitions to them. Right. I'm unconfusing you right now. And you wanna be, you wanna stay confused. Do you understand what truth is? What truth is? What is truth? Brother, you're not doing anything. You didn't comprehend that. What was truth? We read it out the Bible. What was truth? God's word is truth. Okay, good. Now let's read what the spirit is. We're going to go to the spirit. Go ahead. John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is a spirit that quickeneth. So you're listening? Read it again. It is the spirit that quickeneth. So it says it's the spirit that changed. Go ahead. The flesh profiteth nothing. Your flesh, it don't profit nothing. It can't. Okay, listen. The words that I speak unto you, uh -huh. they are spirit yeah. and they are life. The word is what? So what if we gotta worship God in spirit and truth, how do we do that? Oh. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. Okay. And be not drunken with wine. Uh -huh. Wherein is excess? Now we read that the spirit and the and the truth. To worship God in spirit and in truth, you gotta listen. You're not listening. You're not listening. Listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying have nothing to do with what you just said. Listen. Come down. Come down. Come down. What what I'm about to say have nothing with what you just said. All right. You you listening? The, the Bible said if you worship God, you gotta worship Him in spirit and truth. And we went to the Bible and we found out spirit and truth is the Word of God. Right? Correct. Correct. That's what I'm asking you right now. We went to the Bible and we read the spirit. Okay, now I'm about to explain it. Go ahead. Now I'm explaining it. Go ahead. Ephesians 5 verse 18. Be not drunken with wine where it is excess, but be filled with the spirit. You see that? That's how you do that. That's how you worship God in spirit and in truth. You obey the things that's in the commandments. Even though you just woke up, I can tell. I can tell you was in excess. I can tell. You, you know what? You know how I can tell? Because I used to be a drunk in my damn self. That's how I can tell. That's how I could. I could. I could. I could. Then I just put, I just put everything back on me. Then I just put I just put back everything on me, bro. I I'm telling you I know the position you're in because I was there. I was there. And what we're telling you is, if you really want to change, you got to do it by the word of God. And the word of God just say, don't drink too damn much to be drunk. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.